So I'm going on a little rant this week uh, on one of my pet topics, settlement discounts. Bear with me, uh, it won't take long. Now settlement discounts or early payment discounts are good and bad. So they're good if you get them, bad if you give them. Now I understand the psychology of settlement discounts, I do. Uh, and for starters, cash flow uh, is the highest ranking issue for most small medium enterprises. Managing debtors uh, can be a tricky task. Businesses are paying suppliers later than ever, with payment time frames now over 52 days on average. And then there's $19 billion locked away from Australian businesses at any given time due to late payment. But if settlement discounts are the answer, you've asked the wrong question. So let's just have a look at the maths. Say you've got payment terms of 30 days end of month, which is equivalent to about 45 days net. So if you offer a settlement discount of 2.5% uh, if paid in 14 days, this means that for the luxury of having those funds in your accounts for an extra 31 days uh, or a whole month, uh, you've just paid the equivalent of 30% interest. So 12 months at 2.5%. You may as well just max out all your credit cards. Or maybe it's just a 1% discount. That's still an interest rate uh, of 12% or more than double a bank overdraft rate. Now if your suppliers want to offer you settlement discounts, by all means, take them up on the offer. In fact, you should go out of your way to ask them. It's a great way to reduce costs and improve margins. But if you're offering settlement discounts to help your cash flow, don't. Just don't. Firstly, it's throwing away profits, but secondly, it's not very effective, as your poor payers will still pay you late anyway. And finally, before I go, one final question for you to consider. If you're sending out customer statements showing ageing periods of 30, 60, 90 and 120 days, where is the incentive for the customer to pay on time if they've still got three boxes to go? So that's my rant over for today. Uh, we'll see you again next week.